Overnight, he called it election interference. He called it a direct attack on democracy. But I think more importantly for our conversation, Katie, just in the last two hours, he has posted a flurry of vengeful memes on his true social account. Uh, memes that uh, I think we have a couple of them that we can pull up here, I think that are very quite explicit. You have one, AI images of his perceived enemies. You see Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, Hillary Clinton, uh, Fauci, Bill Gates. Bill Gates in orange jumpsuits with the text, how to actually fix the system. You have another one where you see Jack Smith. You see, I think that actually, I'm going to call up the one that we are looking at right now. You see the words indict, sedition, and lock them up from the January 6th Select Committee. And then we've got another one. You see there Jack Smith with the text, quote, he should be prosecuted for election interference and prosecutorial misconduct. A fourth one that I want people to see. You have President Obama with the text that calls for, quote, public military tribunals of Obama and others. There's a flurry of others. There's others that are QAnon themed. This is Donald Trump just in the are last two hours. Uh, and yeah, so uh, needless to say, Donald Trump is down pretty bad right now following news that he has been re-indicted by special counsel Jack Smith. And look, I would be too if I were in his shoes, although I wouldn't have incited an insurrection to stop the peaceful transfer of power in the first place. But nonetheless, I think that he thought the issue was going to go away for him after the Supreme Court ruled that presidents had near absolute immunity. But unfortunately for him and fortunately for the rest of the country, that's not the case. As CBS News reports, special counsel Jack Smith filed a superseding indictment and a new grand jury that hadn't previously heard evidence returned Smith's new superseding indictment on Tuesday. Now, in some ways, this is actually good news for Donald Trump, I guess, depending on if he views the glass half empty or half full. I think it's half empty in this case. But the reason why I say that is because this new 36 page superseding indictment is actually less sweeping than the 45 page indictment filed last year. Now, thanks to the Supreme Court. But Trump, you know, thought that the Supreme Court's ruling would have absolved him from everything. But that's not the case. And since it didn't, he's now spiraling again. It was already bad because he wants to run against Joe Biden instead of Kamala Harris. But now he is, uh, I guess, on a new level of deranged uh, because of his activity on Truth Social. And he's been tweeting nonstop, fantasizing about jailing his political opponents and holding military tribunals, which would be funny if he wasn't so close to becoming the most powerful man in the country, right? So it's funny, but also simultaneously very terrifying. But I don't think that the CNN segment that we watched actually did justice to how deranged his social media activity has become since the re-indictment, because he made so many more posts that range from pathetic to downright ominous. And I want to show you what I mean. So he retweeted this post on Truth Social about the House Select Committee on January 6th, calling for all of them to be jailed for committing perjury. The evidence, it's non-existent, you know, basically trust me, bro. But nonetheless, he wants all of them to be jailed. He also shared this tweet from Cash Patel, accusing entire government agencies of being guilty, along with government officials, including people in his own administration that he appointed, like Gina Haspel, for example, who he named as CIA director. And look, I agree that she's guilty, but not for the reasons he thinks she's guilty. Now, he's accusing her and others of doing an American coup d'etat, which I guarantee you he couldn't pronounce if he said it out loud. And that's just ironic because he's the one who's being indicted for trying to steal the election. But nonetheless, there's more. CNN mentioned a QAnon meme, and uh, this is the one that they were referring to that he retweeted. It has the slogan, where we go one, we go all. That is the QAnon slogan. By now, I know that he knows this. Nonetheless, he's still retweeting it because he wants all hands on deck, including QAnon supporters. He also retweeted this picture of himself praying, calling 2024 the final battle, which is both funny because we know he's not actually religious, but it's also ominous to refer to an election as the final, quote, battle. He also retweeted this picture of his attorney with a quote that reads, Donald Trump is the biggest threat to the corrupt political and justice system we have, which is so delusional because this man is the embodiment of the rot with within our corrupt political system, but nonetheless, he's trying to portray himself as the savior of the corrupt system that we're dealing with when he's part of the problem, if not one of the main problems. Now, he also shared this picture of Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton with a caption from someone saying, funny how blowjobs impacted both their careers differently. I mean, this is just explicitly sexist, but of course, we all knew that he was going to go there. 
And it's not true, but of course, he's going to trot out this trope about women sleeping their way to the top because of course he is. He's Donald Trump. He also retweeted this person who posted a bunch of boomer memes. One of them was a picture of Jack Smith depicted as the devil, which is funny because it speaks to how much him and his loyalists are seething right now over the re-indictment. And he also shared this meme. You know, it's not particularly problematic or funny. I just wanted to point out that some boomer took a screenshot to save the meme, but they couldn't figure out how to crop the photo. So you have this un necessarily long image that looks like shit, but he still retweeted it. And then there's this one, which I won't lie. It just made me laugh because <laughs> the lion photoshopped behind him is so boomer coded. And I feel like we all have a 70 plus year old MAGA uncle in the family who shared this exact image or a variation of it on Facebook at some point. And the fact that he's now sharing this about himself is so embarrassing, but like speaks to his lack of self-awareness. So it made me laugh. And last but not least, you know, this isn't relevant to the indictment, but he shared this AI generated image of common Kamala Harris hiding under the table from reporters. And look, I just got to say, this is a beautiful work of art, sir. You know, looks just like her. Good job. <laughs> So yeah, you know, love that for him. But on another note, didn't he just say like a couple of weeks ago that using AI images was tantamount to election interference when he was accusing Kamala Harris's crowds of being AI generated and fake? I mean, that was a couple of weeks ago, was it not? Yet here he is using AI images nonstop to depict his political opponents in prison. I mean, just imagine for a moment if Kamala Harris shared an AI generated image of him in an orange jumpsuit behind bars. Can you imagine how he would react? He would lose his fucking mind, but it's okay when he does it because, you know, he's a baby. He has the emotional maturity of a toddler. So anything that he does is fine. And anything that's done, you know, attacking him completely, you know, it's, it's beyond the pale. But by now, I think it's increasingly clear that the numerous posts he's made on Truth Social and also Twitter, by the way, it's all indicative of something very wrong with him. Like this is not normal behavior for a 78 year old man. And if that were my grandpa acting this way on social media, I would take away his phone. But nonetheless, this is just normal activity for Donald Trump, and a lot of us are just desensitized to it. But again, I've said this before, I'll say it again, we should never become desensitized to this sort of insane behavior, especially from somebody who wants the nuclear launch codes. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the come zone. Ah, ah, uh, 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 come. Come. 